हेलो गाइस माय नेम इज यतिन जीत कौर एंड आई एम इन फोर्थ ईयर आल्सो आई एम अ ट्यूटर एट इंस्पायरिंग माइंड्स कोचिंग एंड हियर आई एम विद माय न्यू वीडियो ऑन प्लेसेंटा एब्रप्शियो सो व्हाट इज प्लेसेंटा एब्रप्शियो सो प्लेसेंटा एब्रप्शियो इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ प्री मैच्योर सेपरेशन ऑफ प्लेसेंटा फ्रॉम द यूट्रस and mainly uh, uh, the decidua basalis part that is a maternal part of the placenta from the uterus now this separation can be it can be partial and it can be complete so depending it can be of two types it can be partial separation or it can be the complete separation of the placenta from the uterus which results in hemorrhage now why there is a hemorrhage occurring as i told you there is a separation of the decidua basalis part of the placenta from the uterus so generally in the previous video of the placenta i have discussed this generally the maternal part is having this uh, supply to uh, that blood supply and when there is a separation of decidua basalis then the there is a the, uh, degeneration of the uterine artery which results in a hemorrhage so the hemorrhage is because of the tearing of the arteries and now depend what are the risk factor that are mainly responsible for this it can be maternal hypertension it can be this is the one of the most important factor that is pre previous abruption most common factor for uh, placenta abruptio and smoking can also lead to placenta abruptio cocaine use trauma the ma mainly it is a blunt trauma that can be due to car accident and because maybe due to domestic violence there is a uh, you can see the placenta abruptio and the multi parity is also the reason and the maternal age more than 35 years can also be the reason of the placenta abruptio now when a patient comes to you and now what is the presentation of the patient the with the placenta abruptio now the female is having the severe abdominal pain as you can see here it is, uh, she is having the contraction it can she can having the uterus tension uterus tension is mainly because uh, the muscle generally contract as there is bleeding to stop the bleeding the uterus muscle contract that's why you will see the uterus tension other can be the third trimester bleeding now the third the most important or you can say the import one of the important cause of the third trimester bleeding is nothing but the placenta abruptio there are other reason also that uh, placenta uh, previa and all these things so it is also one of the reason for the third trimester bleeding and the fetal distress distress can also be the possible for uh, you can also sus suspect that the um, baby is having the distress syndrome now there is a two type of placenta abruptio one is a marginal type and other is a complete uh, concealed one now what is this marginal if you see there is a uh, like um, uh, you can say the marginal separation of the placenta that is known as a marginal type and here in marginal type you will see what you will see the vaginal bleeding you can see the vaginal bleeding and concealed is it is generally the concealed type is more central and the blood is within the uterus you will not see any hemorrhage here and it is one of the most dangerous type so what is the complication of this concealed type it can be dic it can be fetal hypoxia it can be shehan syndrome uterine tetany and uh, also hypovolemic shock for the mother these are the most important complication for the concealed one and for marginal they are not that kind, that much uh, uh, dangerous 
so now about the diagnosis so what is the diagnosis of the placenta abruptio diagnosis journey for diagnosis placenta abruptio along with this physical presentation you can also go for the ultrasound you can go for ultra sonography so this is the main treatment generally pl placenta abruptio and placenta previa is uh, sharing very similarity so uh, the main difference between placenta abruptio and previa is uh, abruptio is having the severe pain but uh, in uh, placenta previa there is not that much pain abruptio is having more pain now the treatment for the placenta abruptia now depending upon the condition of the female you can go for along with the vaginal bleeding uh, delivery or the cesarean section now what are the indication for cesarean section first i will discuss c section indications for c section there is the rap uh, more like a uh, uh, more uh, abruptio will be there that can be concealed type you can say for concealed type we will go for c section other reason can be if there is a uh, like fetal heart rate is compromised then also you can go for c section if there is a severe hemorrhage then also you can go for c section and if the female is having the severe hypovolemic shock along with the severe pain then you can also go for the c section so what are the indication first is the severe hemorrhage other is the fetal heart rate is compromised and if it is the concealed type of placenta abruptio so these are the indication for the c section now for the if we are talking about the vaginal delivery what are the main indication for vaginal delivery generally for vaginal de uh, delivery um, uh, if there is a not that much separation or you can say there is a partial separation of the placenta then you can also go for vaginal de delivery and if there is a normal fetal heart rate uh, uh, you can uh, find on the doppler so uh, you can also go for in that case you can also go for vaginal delivery and if the fetus is dead if the like the separation is so extensive the fetus and it leads to that fetal death so in that case you can also go for vaginal delivery so vaginal delivery indication so first indication is if the separation is not that much other is fetal heart rate is normal and the third one is if the fetus is dead so guys this is all about the placenta abruptio i hope you like my video if you are having any doubt please comment in the comment section i will try to solve it and please subscribe our youtube channel follow us on instagram and please join our telegram group there i will post all the uh, related mcq to this topic thanks for watching my video